hits and yesterday's classic Montreal's And now, Rick Peterson. It's 9 o'clock. Keep track this week and be the office hero. Win yourself $75 for lunch or dinner at Restaurant Exotica's newest location to carry and Van Horn. And the grand prize Friday, $750. So you can take the entire office to try the global menu at Exotica's. One of the next nine songs could win it all for you. I'll tell you which one when we're done. And coming up today on the 9 at 9, Allie McBeal's Vonda Shepard. To the mid-80s with Steve Perry. And just before Alanis Morissette from the movie City of Angels. Here's the first song on the 9 at 9. Just the way it is from the Rembrandts on the mix. Uh, I host middays uh, between 9 and 1, and I'm the assistant program director at Mix 96, and I've been here for like 18 years, and I don't think half people here really know that. Uh, you also do the, uh, although it's kind of off the topic, the Mountain Lake Public Television Pledge Drives, which many people have seen. Public uh, television is something dear to my heart. It's where I learned to read and write, uh, but uh, I'd like to thank Bert and Ernie for that. Uh, but my record's ending, so That's just right. give me a moment here, and I'll just... It's 10 o'clock. It's time for more of today's hits and yesterday's classic and yet another half hour of music. Big Sizes. Sometimes video can be a distraction in the studio. You just heard every button that it said 10 o'clock on the air. Take a look at that clock there, if you will, would you? <laughs> How's that for precision? Not. Anyway, um... So moving right along, yes. Well, the Mountain awesome. Lake Public Television thing oh, yeah. is dear to my heart. They are the uh, the little guy down there. Everything uh, depends on the public for funding, and I think it's an important part of our job as people that communicate within the community uh, to be a part of that community and make sure that some of the things that are important to the community remain and get the funding they need. So as part of the charity work that we all do here at Mix 96, I got involved with Mountain Lake Public Television many years ago with the first movie marathon, because movies are something that I enjoy a lot too. And uh, we've been partners there for a long, long time now. And uh, so if you can here, I'll turn this into a pledge drive. Pledge your support of Mountain Lake Public Television now. Send in your $35 and get the program guide, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right now. Right now. Right now. Everybody leave the film fast and go pledge your money to Matt Mike. Basically, here, you're having a film fest, and here I am again doing a pledge break. Uh, right now in the studio, and they'll soon all be gone because we're going to digital where everything gets downloaded on a hard disk, and uh, this is old equipment you're seeing here. will be completely updated probably by the time you see this. Uh, but in the studio, there are 4,000 CDs. On each one of the CDs, there are about 20 tracks. Our CDs are made specially for us. Uh, so that they're compilation CDs and they contain about 20 hits each. So if you can do the math, 4,000 times 20, that's how many songs we have ready to play. And they're in various rotations because of government uh, rules and regulations. They're all in different rotations that the music director could explain to you, but uh, that's why we have what we call our universe of 4,000 here in the studio. A lot of people in the audience tonight are graduating this year, actually in a couple of days. How was your high school graduation? My, my high school graduation? Mm. Good God. Smith Falls, Ontario. Smith Falls and District Collegiate Institute. About a thousand kids going to that. It was at the Smith Falls Golf and Country Club, as I recall, and it went into the wee hours of the morning. Nobody drank and drive. We all had that all set up, and that's so important. And uh, even back in 1975, when I did that, uh, we were concerned about that, and so were parents and stuff. Um, and uh, it was a good party. It was a sad thing because we knew the one thing about coming from a small town is after you go to school, if you were going to go beyond high school and not go into the factories, um, you were going to leave Smith Falls and most probably not come back to it, which has been the case. Uh, maybe Christmases and uh, Easter and some of the, the major holidays, we will get back and see some of our old friends. Uh, but of the 13 or 14 people that I graduated with, it was that small a class, um, we are in contact with maybe a handful of us that uh, continue to call one another, but we've all gone different ways. And uh, again, so it was kind of a, a happy feeling that we were going on to a new challenge, something new, heading out into the world as it were, going to different schools. But we had this feeling that we knew we probably wouldn't see each other again for a long time. So it was a, it was a party that uh, lasted extra long because of that feeling, and you know, I just didn't want to quite let go. So it's an important day, and I'll always remember it. Well, thank you very much. Anything you'd like to say before we, we go? Rock on! Lock it on the mix and give to Mountain Lake Public Television. Look at me. I'm still doing pledge breaks. Get him out. Okay. Get, get me out of your face. Look at him. 
And now, David Tyler. And good morning, David Tyler here with you. Lots of great music and lots of great prizes to give away. Stay tuned, and right now, here's something great from Rare Earth. Get ready on the mix. What do you like about radio so much that keeps you here for 10 years? What do I like about radio so much is uh, are the hours and I get to play cool music. Anything you don't like about it then? That I don't like about radio? I won't show it to if, your boss, don't worry. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I think if I didn't like radio, I wouldn't be here. There's nothing? No little things that annoy you about it? So you're just the perfect DJ, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Whatever song I happen to be playing on the radio right now is my most favorite song. Any songs you just hate? You see no, them on your I, list and you say, oh, No God, way! I, I love them all. Bay City Rollers, Saturday Night. How about that? You don't like that? That's an old one. One time I said the choice is, uh, uh, is it 1971, 1972, or 1973? And I picked up the phone and the guy went, is it 1978? That's somebody who didn't graduate high school. <laughs> How'd you celebrate your high school graduation? Celebrated by going to Sejak. Okay. That's how I celebrate it. Wow. <laughs> and staying up all night and and uh, doing weird things. I'm off! I'm finished! And now, Tim Klassen. How you doing? It's 1 o'clock. Coming up, Casey and Jojo, also the Rolling Stones. And here's today's 1 o'clock song in our easiest 1, 2, 3 contest from the Counting Crows, Mr. Jones. Uh, I've been at Mix for about uh, two and a half years. Mm. And uh, I've been with the same company for about five years. It's owned by Standard Broadcasting out of Toronto. And uh, I moved here August 95, so about two and a half years. Okay, well, uh, well, what do you like about radio so much that, uh, the that you say it for The coffee's exceptional. <laughs> um, no, it's not. Uh, no, I just love the hours. The hours are great. I work uh, three hours a day in a row. And, um, you know, the hours are good. The money's good. Um, right, Ray? What's that? The hours are good. The money's good. Money's Radio. great. The money's great. The money's great. <coughs> <coughs> in any case, no, radio's a fun job. You get to play music for a living, you know. How Nothing you don't like about it? Is there something I don't like about it? This man behind me here. He's a troublemaker. Who might that be? That'd be Ray Scott, our music director. Hi. Hello. Yeah. He, uh, no, Ray's fun. Uh, no, actually, they've got a really good staff here. The hours are three hours a day. We play music for a living. I mean, really, how tough could it be? Ray, tell them what I think about the cranberry, Salvation. You don't want <laughs> that too much. Yeah, I don't care for it too much, but, uh, you know, we have a lot of listeners that really like it, so, I mean, we still play it, obviously. Uh, personal taste uh, shouldn't really enter into it, but uh, that's one that, you know, any songs that you do like a lot? Any songs that I do Current like a or, lot? Uh, uh, Chantel Kreviasek. I listen to that CD at least once a week. Excellent. Uh, what else? Um, as far as the new stuff is concerned, the new uh, Fastball, there's a new song by Blair, which is really hot. I mean, we're on top of it. We're playing the hits. Oh, it'd be nice to slap some of the barbecue tonight. We are expecting the uh, clouds to roll in this evening, though, and we are expecting some showers for tomorrow. You have a character that you portray sometimes on your show named Victor. Where'd he come from? Well, Victor, uh, Victor was actually first done by a friend of mine in Calgary. He, uh, he was a big fan of The Young and the Restless, and he called me up one day to request a song. This was when uh, Victor was on the TV show. He had a stroke or something like that. I guess he got really upset and had a stroke. Which so. TV show was that? So uh, this was on The Young and the Restless TV show and uh, soap opera that was on every day. And uh, he had a stroke. He got really upset and had a stroke. So the next day we had him call in as Victor, and he was trying to get a song played, and he kept confusing things. Uh, uh, he kept confusing. Uh, his wife's name on the show was Nikki. So he's like, well, I was wondering if you could play that song by Steely Dan, Nikki Don't Lose That Number. I said, well, no, Victor, it's Ricky Don't Lose That Number. And uh, he just kept trying to get the song on. He kept getting confused, and then he finally got really angry and had a stroke like he did on the TV show. And uh, he was like, help me, help me. Oh, help me, Joni Mitchell? Sure, we can play that. So that was sort of the bid, and it got like a tremendous response. So, uh, so I started watching the soap opera, and, uh, and I started practicing doing the voice, and then eventually I learned how to do the voice. So when I came to Montreal, I thought, well, this might be a fun character to do. So. Mix music. Um, my high school graduation was pretty uneventful. Um, I was kind of a nerd in high school, so I was, you know, I was just sort of there. You mean that those days are over? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, no good, you, let's hope we, they are. I, I think that's probably why I became a disc jerky. We, we love you, Timbo. Yeah, thanks, Ray. Uh, he was just leaving. 
Uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, I was really nerdy in school, and I think to compensate for it, you know, I picked a career that uh, you get a chance to be outgoing and, uh, you know, have fun. So uh, it's this job has really kind of brought me out of my shell. I'm a little bit more uh, extroverted than I used to be. So. And now, Rob Reford. Montreal's Mix 96 with a new address for morning radio. Mason of and Bird starts Monday morning. It is 407, Rob Reefer, the Rolling Home Show in the Office 4 play. Song number three today. It's new garbage. Here's Push It from the Mix. I'm a talker. I like talking. Uh, I'm a very outgoing person. I think those are certain traits that uh, are good ones to have in radio. Uh, you have to be an outgoing person. And, and uh, I, uh, I just enjoy the business. I, li I like talking to people. I uh, get satisfaction from the job. You get calls from people saying, hey, I can relate to that or what have you. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a big responsibility, and uh, I enjoy it. <laughs> hey! Hey! Good, how are you? Good. Folks, everyone, this is Rob Kemp. He's on, he's on, he's on the phone right now. Rob Kemp from uh, Aaron. Aaron uh, is taping us here. Yeah, he's taping us on the video camera. And uh, so right now I'm talking to Rob Camp as, as we speak, and I'm telling him to stand by for traffic, and he'll be coming up in exactly one minute and 21, 20 seconds. Yeah, that's when you're coming up. All right, so stand by there. 10-4. Bye-bye. Any secrets of radio you'd like to divulge? I don't know. Um, not to let people know you're, you're having a bad day out there. This is, uh, radio is a lot like acting. There's days, I'll admit, that I don't feel like coming in here. It's a job, but there's days that I don't feel like coming in, uh, feeling down about something in my life, just don't feel like coming into work, or just don't feel like coming in, period. And but when you come you on, you gotta, you gotta... Sound like you're happy, like it's... Uh, sound, yeah, it's... And I guess it's a form of acting. I, uh, in general, I'm a, I'm a happy person. But uh, I, I think, uh, I think just... Uh, Portray yourself as a happy person on the air. Uh, people, people like that. That would be a secret that I've got to share. Now, Andre and Ted in the morning on Montreal's Mix 96. This is Ted Bird and Andre Maisonneuve. That's Ted Bird and uh, Andre Maisonneuve from Montreal's Mix 96. Hi. Good Hi. morning. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Very good. All right. So I'm gonna start off with a couple of questions. First of all. Um, I'm going to ask each of you, how did you get started in, uh, in radio? What's your history, your past? Um, I started by listening to the radio and liking the music. Yeah, boy, that went out the window fast. Um, the, uh, yeah, and I started doing uh, work on a community TV channel and uh, just to get kind of plugged into working audio and stuff like that and got enough experience that Eventually, somebody was stupid enough to let me on the radio, uh, doing overnights in, uh, this was in Thunder Bay where I started, Thunder Bay, Ontario. So they let me do that and progressed from there. What happened with me was well, I was regressed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I took a journalism course at a community college in uh, Charlottetown called the Samuel Holland Institute of Technology. So we didn't get the jackets with the letters, the abbreviation would have been in rather bad taste. And I didn't, I wasn't really leaning towards radio, I just thought I'm going to be some kind of a journalist. And I thought probably newspaper, but through this course I got an internship at a radio station, and uh, they liked my work, uh, and the fact that I would work cheap, so they ha fired a guy who wouldn't work as cheaply as me and hired me. So I basically got started at someone else's expense. That's basically the way the industry is going yeah. these days. <laughs> it was a lesson learned early. Yeah, eventually someone will get their start at our expense. That's right. Probably you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm leaning toward more of a in there kind of thing. I am. So you don't have to worry about me right away. All right. Well, you're new here, obviously. Yeah. So how's Mix 96? First few days. Love it. Got a great partner and, uh, and a whole bunch of great people to work with. And um, it's a lot of fun so far. A lot of fun. It's going to be great. Okay. So you guys do the morning show, obviously. How do you come up with the material that, that you use? You just... We steal it. Listen to tapes from other shows across North America. Yeah. And if it's far enough away that no one can get their signal <laughs> here, we steal their gags. No, that's not true. 
Uh, I haven't worked with Andre long enough to, to know exactly how he operates, but uh, for myself, uh, a lot of it comes from my own day-to-day -day experiences. Whatever is happening, you know, during the day after work, uh, sometimes if, if something's happening, if I'm doing something, if I see something, and I think, hey, that'll be interesting to talk about on the air tomorrow, make a mental note to myself and go over it in my head uh, that night and the next morning uh, on my way in and, and take it from there. And also, anything that's topical, yeah. anything that's topical that people are talking about, uh, what, what's the expression, water cooler talk. Yeah. You know, you want to be talking about the things that you think people are going to be talking about at their water cooler, at their work, that day. You want to be relevant. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> Good answer. In Montreal, this is Mixed Music. How did your high school graduation go? My high school graduation. You know, interestingly, my high school graduation probably played a part in my getting into this industry because at the end of my uh, last year in high school, uh, we had a variety show and uh, they asked different people to get involved in different ways. And I did a spoof newscast as part of the variety show. Basically, yeah. talk about stealing stuff. <laughs> I stole a bunch of George Carlin gags off the right, old right. spoof newscasts he used to do. Yeah. And a buddy of mine and I went up on stage and we did this spoof newscast. And after that, a lot of people said to me, hey, you got a pretty good voice. You did that pretty good. You should think about getting into radio. Mm -hmm. um, as for the graduation itself, like the prom, are you talking about the prom? Yeah, what did I you do? a beautiful girl to the prom. I was just crazy about her. I had this huge crush on her. And she wouldn't even hold my hand. Oh. Yeah, she's old and ugly now. <laughs> I win. <laughs> That's it. Uh, my uh, my prom, I uh, took a uh, she okay a girl. I don't usually use that term, but you know, they were high school girls. Come on. I was a boy. She was a girl. Uh, I took a girl that I wasn't really all that crazy about, but um, who had a great body, and <laughs> and, uh, and I was fascinated with her body. And uh, it was pretty uncomfortable, actually, because I, I think her parents, when I picked her up, <laughs> her parents kind of sensed that I liked her body. <laughs> and, uh, and that uh, really that's the only reason why I was taking her to the prom. Uh, and it turned out to be the most boring night, actually, because uh, nothing physical uh, happened and I ended up dropping her off at home uh, pretty early. And then uh, meeting a whole bunch of the guys for, uh, for drinks and... Um, and some breakfast later. So it was pretty much a nightmare for both of us then. Yeah, yeah. And we're both still in therapy over it. <clears throat> this is actually what we do for therapy. Okay. This is our therapy. Well, that you've given some inspiration to everybody watching this movie who will be graduating this year. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> well, sure. congratulations to them all and best of luck. Yeah, really. Well, thank you very much, Andre and Ted. And we'll be listening every morning on Montreal's Mix 96. <laughs> And now, Jeremy Zafrin. Hey, top of the afternoon to you. It's Jeremy Zafrin here. You there, your most qualified radio announcer, getting ready to play some React. We'll also head into one of the favorite from the hip. And if you like Brian Adams, Unplugged, well, we've got something ready for you. Here we've got another track from one of my favorite bands, Soul Asylum, from their brand new album at Montreal's Mix 96. I actually uh, I actually got started at CJAD uh, back about eight years ago. And uh, after three years there, on air overnights producing, I decided to uh, walk the hallway one weekend and uh, ask if they had anything available on air here at Mix 96. And um, oh, it's a great radio story though, because uh, the next day I got a phone call from the program director, who said that sure we've got an opening um, on weekend overnights. Uh, only after the <laughs> guy who was doing overnights fell asleep on air, and I got his job. So it was it was actually I I came in. He said no the next day. The guy fell asleep on air, and I got the job that weekend. So fell asleep on the air. Yeah, and my fourth year anniversary was uh, February 28th, February 25th actually, February 25th of this year. Mix 96 Montreal and Indecision. Ooh, it's kind of crazy. It's Jeremy's Alfred at 4:30. What a great Saturday afternoon. I hope you're enjoying it along with me because hey, it's summertime. Are your favorite artists Canadian? Uh, they actually became Canadian. My favorite artists originally were, um, well, actually, my favorite artists of all time are you too. So that's a but when you go into secondary and, and what I listen to normally, uh, Counting Crows and then everything else is, is CanCon stuff. I love I love um, more alternative CanCon, like, like the Rusties and the 
Oh, I like I like the hip too. I mean, uh, but uh, but more of the uh, the more obscure Canadian artists, Killjoys. I'm more into that. But you two's uh, the ones yeah. we don't play on mix. The one, <laughs> the ones we avoid on rotation. <laughs> yes, no, Leanne Rhymes is not my favorite artist. Is <laughs> Any secrets that you'd like to reveal about, uh... About Mix 96? Oh, who's that in the back there? Is that Robbie? Oh, it's Mike. <laughs> That's Mike Chanel. This is our biggest secret of all. <laughs> <laughs> What's he <you> saying? I'm evil. <laughs> I'm not evil. <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, that's our biggest secret. Actually, that man is really a woman, um, and he's, uh, our promotions guy, so. Any big secrets, uh, personally or station-wise? Either. Either? Wow, you're putting me on the spot there, which is, I guess, <laughs> the purpose of the question is. Uh, I'm trying to think. I see her. Turn that wind, turn, turn it over to that window over there. That was after one bad, uh, Terry DeMonte morning, I think. <laughs> Coffee cup went through it. <laughs> There's one secret. I'm trying to think of anything else. Personal secret. Um, there are some uh, secrets of radio, actually. When I first started a mix, uh, I used to do live from dance clubs quite often. I was uh, the, the host of some shows from like L'Orizal or uh, Club L'Impact. And what would happen is I'd be doing it on the same night as my overnight shift. So I'd voice track the overnight, which means I wouldn't even be here at the station. I would actually just be at the club doing my last break and then I'd hear myself driving into work on the radio for the first hour which is kinda neat <laughs> hearing myself while I'm supposed to be there yeah. that's that's a there's some secrets to radio that uh, that you can't reveal you right? can't reveal but some others are you know they're not as obvious and you wouldn't uh, you know the lay listener wouldn't realize what's happening but sometimes we're not here sometimes we're a little late sometimes you know it's more human Every, everything is you gotta understand radio is a human business too my graduation, from what I remember, <laughs> um, it was good, actually. We had a fun night. The best thing about graduation was uh, getting up to the mountain in the morning. I think they still do that tradition in, in the city, getting into the mountain, watching the sunrise. No matter who you are, everyone just goes to the mountain after the big dance. Where did you go? Uh, we went, uh, our dance was, um, where was our dance? Shadow Champlain. Uh, it was Shadow Champlain Ballroom. And uh, it was from Waker High School, actually. So a Montreal boy. Uh, it went from there to I couldn't tell you where because I don't remember. And then we ended up in the mountain at six in the morning. Then we all went for breakfast. About 100, 150 people. The other ones all, all the troubled ones went up north and partied. We lost them. All the good legitimate students stayed in the mountain. <laughs> Actually, we enjoy when uh, people take an interest in what we do because a lot of people don't realize that uh, how important radio is to people and. Uh, we appreciate you, you as a listener, and everyone else, keep listening. And now, Cat Spencer. It's just the in front of 7 o'clock. Let's kick off a hot half-hour music mix on Mix 96. What's your favorite or uh, least favorite song? Uh, right now, my favorite so song is uh, by Matchbox 20. It's called Real World. Yeah, like They're my favorite, too. hottest band right now. Mm. Hello? Yes? Hello? Oh, hi! Hello? Hello? Yes? Oh, hi, is it Deppener? Yes? Yes? Is it Deppener? Yes? Oh, hello! Hi! It's a real lamb, but what did you say? <laughs> hello? 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 Yes? Hello? Hello? Oh, hi! Hi. 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 It's hello. Is it Deppener? Yes. Hello. Who, who's speaking? It's Deppener. Yes. Oh, hi. 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 Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello. What's the weirdest dialing for Deppener you've ever had? Oh, the weirdest one ever. Um, I don't know. The audience would have to decide that. There have been some, some weird ones. Some that have, I think, sworn to me in other languages. But uh, you've done quite a number number of interviews too, haven't you? 
Over the years, I've done many, many interviews. What's yes. your favorite one of that? My favorite one. Uh, there's been so many. Um, for me, meeting I met Janet Jackson, which was neat. I met Rod Stewart. I met Bon Jovi and Aerosmith. Uh, in excess, uh, I met many dozens, hundreds over the last maybe 10 years that I've been in radio. I was supposed to meet the Spice Girls, but I slept in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, I still haven't met them. But my favorite one, uh, there's been a lot. I, the Scorpions stick in my mind because they've been around for 25 years, and they were doing an interview like it was their first ever interview. They were really happy to talk to me and really talkative. And same with In Excess, too. They've been around for 20-some years and still very, very much into the interview and love talking about themselves. So. Uh, actually, grade 8 elementary school graduation, my principal introduced me and said uh, that I wanted to grow up to be a radio announcer because it's the only way I could get people to listen to me. <laughs> That's a true story. And now, how many years later, I'm a radio announcer. Grade 12, uh, high school graduation was fantastic. Uh, I remember it well. There was a lot of, it was a big, big school in Saskatoon. Um, it went well. Didn't win any awards. Didn't, didn't, uh, make the honor roll or anything like that, but I passed, and my parents were proud of me, so. All right. But I, I remember it, honestly, as one of the best nights of my life, just as far as the memories you'll hold from that night and just the last two or three weeks as school is winding down. They say high school is one of the best years of your life, and it really is, so enjoy what's left of it. Mixed music. Help me, help me, help me. I don't know what to do. I'm starting the number one song, and I don't know what button to push. Ah. Okay, you're gonna push that the one with the green. The one with the green. Put this? Yeah, the one that's up. Oh that one. Yeah. That'll fire the number one song. Alright. Or the the cart that says the number one song. That's the number one song then. And then after that place you're gonna hit the other blue one on your right. Alright. The second one? There's two blue ones up there. One's playing. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh this one. Yeah. But oh, not no. till he's done talking. So the green one first. This one and that one. Yeah. I got it. Here we go. You ready? The number one song in Montreal, folks. Here it comes. Okay. What song? The number one song on the mix. set on the mix. Thanks, Montreal, for making us your number one unstoppable variety station. Mix 96.